Martin Erdegaard joins us now. Good to see you. You're standing next to your namesake there, another yeah. Martin well to, skip a, to skip a Arsenal. Congratulations on Thank the win, you. Martin. You looked intense and fired up from the, the very first minute in that one. Just tell us a bit about the, the debrief from midweek and how much you wanted to put that right. Yeah, I think that gave us that extra motivation today. I think also what happened to uh, against Newcastle last time gave us a little bit of extra fire today. And I think um, even though we felt a bit tired, you know, a lot of games, um, a lot of distance covered, you know, throughout the last games, uh, we just wanted to come here and, uh, yeah, um, make a good game, give the fans a good night, and, and we did. Martin, tactically, what was the difference from, from midweek? We were there, we watched the game, and it, they stifled you, and they, they defended very well, Porto. Yeah. What were the tactical changes from that game to today? I mean, we tried to do this, a lot of the same things. I think they defended well, but um, I think we played uh, yeah, not our best game offensively. Uh, we didn't get to the final third. I don't think we get enough situations in the box, and I think today we were so aggressive. I think from the start of the game, we got situations in the box, we got a few corners, we were there straight away. And um, yeah, Jorginho, Declan, all the players from behind, they were so good at threading between the lines. Yeah. And That was the difference today, we saw. Yeah, I think that was the difference, the you know, to get, yeah, get through the lines, and then we always create something, you know, get the ball to the wingers, and yeah, all the things that happen from there is... Uh, it's beautiful to see, you know, and that's where we want to play. You want to play in the final third and, and create things all the time. So, yeah. Can you explain to us, so obviously Jorginho is now sitting at the, the foot of that midfield. Does that suddenly give you a whole lot more space when, when yeah. Rice ar arrives next to you? Yeah, I think we've been playing uh, a few different ways uh, the last few games. You know, I'm, I've been dropping a bit more and I've been there for the build-up. Um, today Jorginho and Deck was doing that more and then I can stay higher up. So, yeah, we can play in different ways and, and today we did really good. So, yeah, it was your, nice. Your, your role, you're the captain of this team um, and you're creative and everything. <coughs> in terms of your role as captain, what, what type of leader are you? We don't hear often from yourself, so I'd love to know a little bit more about what type of leader you are in that changing room. Yeah, no, I try to lead by example. You know, I try to do the right things. Um, try to put on a good mindset, always, always pushing the players around me. Um, and yeah, doing what's best for the team, that's the main thing, you know, to, to get the best out of each player and, and to understand that every player is different and, and yeah, to, to get the best out of everyone. 110 games now, saying you're level with Arteta, the captain, games, yeah. appearances for Arsenal. Yeah, that's not bad. Hopefully many more to come, you know, so still a young man, so hopefully there's a, there's a lot more to come. In the run-in, Rio was, was just talking earlier about just making sure that... that, that sort of fear element doesn't creep in because of what happened last season in this title race. How, how do you make sure that doesn't happen as a team and, and how can you help with that as captain? I think now is the moment to show, you know, what we learned last season. I think um, the year before that we missed Champions League and we came back so strong and we showed that we were a lot better. Uh, last year we missed the title, as you say, and now is the time to show that we learned something, you know, and um, yeah, we enjoy so much playing together. Uh, every time we play, we're so excited and I think that's the way, you know, to to work hard every day, take it step by step, and then we'll see in the end. I think, I think you know, being an ex-player, I think that the mindset is to love it. You yeah. know, you've played your whole career to be in these situations. You don't yeah. fear it. You have to love it yeah. and embrace it, and then it takes you on a great journey. Hopefully, yeah. you're in a hell of a race, by the way, with Liverpool yeah, and Man yeah. City right now, but yeah. fingers crossed you can do it. Do you, do you enjoy that? I mean, like, yeah. uh, we've obviously played, but now we'd love to hear from you. Do you, do you enjoy it? The, the intensity, the, the running like this, where pressure's at its highest. Yeah, I think we're all living the dream, you know. I think we've all been dreaming of, of being here, you know, on the biggest stage in the best league in the world. Uh, as you say, you see every week how competitive it is, how, how good it is, and that's where we all want to be, you know. Uh, we want to fight for trophies, and, um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do, you know, try to be there and uh, push every day. <laughs> Don't forget awesome. to enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Tommy.